here it is. This is the Rand Crusher Custom 6 string. It features a blue quilted maple top, which is really, really beautiful in a satin finish, and I really love the look of this guitar. It has stainless steel frets in a Maxar Ebony fretboard with an Avancall neck, and we also have ourselves some Lundgren M6 pickup swords. <laughs> Death metal as hell. We have a black Karina back here with a laser etched logo, which is a really nice touch. I really like that. That's really, really cool. The neck joint is actually really, really perfect, despite looking a bit bulky. The headstock has these Goto mini tuners and it looks really badass, especially with the veneer of the quilted maple on the truss rod cover and the headstock itself. Anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So what can I tell you about this guitar that you don't already know? Well, I can tell you that it plays quite fantastically. I can tell you that it was kind of a mistake, the fact that the neck is actually glossy and the body is satin. It's supposed to be reversed, but it doesn't really hinder my playing. I'm not too, you know, against gloss necks. My old ESP has a gloss neck and it's not such a bad thing. The thing about this guitar though is that it plays death metal riffs really great. So right now I'm going to play a little bit through my Engel Powerball and let you guys decide for yourselves how crunchy this thing is. <laughs> I think that you guys can see for yourself that even though this guitar has gone through an Axe FX2, which is what I used earlier in the playthrough part of this video, this guitar kicks ass with a tube amp as well. And thankfully, I think it's largely in part to these amazing Lundgren M6s. I'm a really, really big fan of Lundgren pickups, and I wish that I could get them for all the things. But hey, you know, I don't have that much money, and that's okay. So I'm going to play a little bit more now with my Engel Powerball back here, and I'm going to change around the rhythm settings a little bit. That was a little bit more of my, like, typical kind of metal, death metal sound. I'm going to switch it up and let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> So I think that sounds really sweet. I'm a really, really big fan of these Lundgrens. I think that the guitar is made super well. And honestly, I think that the weight is totally worth it for a custom instrument that's just fantastic. I think that sounds really killer. I'm a really, really big fan of this guitar. I've been playing it nonstop, and that's kind of why it took so long to do the review. Sorry, Jeremy. Uh, and a big thank you to Mr. Jeremy Hoagie, who did lend me this guitar for the review. I'm gonna play with the clean setting right now, just to switch it up. But I will say that distortion is definitely the strong suit for this guitar. So it does clean up real nice, even though that these pickups are definitely meant for metal guitar playing. I do quite enjoy the neck pickup sound, obviously in the clean setting, far more than the middle or the bridge. And just for your guys' information, there is a brightness switch which is on right now with the angle, just to give it a little bit more clarity because I think that the clean can sometimes be a little bit just too clanky and, and a little bit... Huh, like there's a sock on it. So in closing, I think that Rang Guitars makes a mean instrument. This Crusher six string is immaculate. It's friggin' immaculate. I really love all the wood combinations that you can get. I love the fact that he didn't pay an extreme amount. He paid less than you might think for this guitar, Mr. Jeremy did. And 
I, I love the fact that it's really like perfect. Uh, I haven't really been able to find any mistakes. I looked into the neck pocket. I've looked into if there was any dings. I've looked into if there was any issues with the gloss neck in terms of finishing. And it's just, I haven't been able to find anything wrong with it. So if you want a really premium custom guitar, these guys, these Polish guys know exactly what they're doing and it isn't a ridiculous price. So jump on it. Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to actually, you know, press the button and like it because it helps me out and I really appreciate it. Comment, let me know what you think about this thing down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for goodness sake. You watched this far in the video. Fuck.